Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Audio, and today I am here with Max Mod from Fine Audio. Hi, Kevin. How are in, you? Good. In <laughs> Scotland, I cannot believe that he just happened to end up here in Southern California, right? Yeah, well, the weather's better here, so I thought, mm, let's spend a few days with you. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he asked me, he goes, what did you ask me yesterday? Well, yeah, just what, you know, what, 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 what the climate's like at this time of year, you know, it's, is this normal? Because it's like the sun's shining. I've not seen sun for months. Yeah, yeah. It's brilliant. Kind of normal, uh, kind of <laughs> normal, but then, you know, there's ups and downs to everything, right? But, you know, it, it is, but you know what? God dang it. I got, I love the UK, man. And I love Scotland and I, and I love uh, uh, fine art, you know, we, I think that life is a matter of, um, awakenings. I can never, ever say that I cannot learn something new. In fact, I thrive on that. Uh, there's new awakenings in music. I've gone through that recently. My wife are listening to some country western and, and uh, there's awakenings with uh, electronics and speakers and spirituality and, and all of those things. And I love awakenings and learning new stuff. And then, uh, you know, I had run on a number of, uh, of uh, I think, assumptions, I suppose. And uh, I've come to, I have this awakening with your brand and your company. And, uh, and it was one thing to see it at a show. I was with one of my management people and we were at Expona and we saw mm -hmm. your room. I go, <gasps> oh, <gasps> you know, I mean, and we were like shocked by mm. how good the products sound and frankly almost scared that I didn't have it and uh, and then how it looked and and uh, so this is your new model which you didn't come out with anything like this initially no this this is new for this year it's you know it's the it, it, it's the daddy it's the flagship and uh, you know just just quickly on that very kind point you've made you know we we really take nothing for granted. I mean, we're, as, as a brand, we're fine is only seven years old, as you know. Mm -hmm. But the uh, the individuals involved have kind of been doing this in the industry for like for forever. So mm -hmm. it's not really our first rodeo, as I've said many times, as I'm in the US. So we don't take anything for granted. Maybe we kind of take the performance level that we've got to for granted a little bit because we've always been, you know, knocking it out of the park. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's pretty good. And the support and the press from all over the world. Uh, international press is one thing, but when you're getting it in national press in all the countries that we sell to, mm -hmm. you know, which we always have to get translated, but it's always like Best Buys, Five Stars, Equivalents, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just across the board. So it's just, it always surprises us. And it's just so nice to hear still seven years in when we get the reaction that, that you've had it was just like oh my god I, I i didn't know this is this is the real deal isn't it and we're like yeah of course why yeah. would you <laughs> yeah it's so, amazing I, I, you know and i just gotta say something about that that in japan the big magazine over there is stereo sound right mm. i mean that's the one yeah and your first model yeah well you know it's it's a funny story because our, our great friends uh, lynn lynn products have, have being a LP12 owner for forever. And when I was in retail in the 80s, I used to go to the Lynn factory with Ivan. We love Lynn and we're very mm -hmm. close to Lynn mm -hmm. and that's good. And uh, so we won the Stereo Sound Award on the uh, on the F110 mm -hmm. in uh, F112, sorry, in 2019. And then we won it again last year when we first launched the Vintage on, on, this, on the uh, Vintage 12. This is the Vintage 15. And like one of the Lynn guys said, how the hell have you won the Stereo Sound Award twice? We've been in business 50 years, we've mm. never won it, you know? So mm. it's like, yeah, well, you know, we kind of know what we're doing. So. You kind of know what you're doing. And, the, and so I want people, I want you to try to find that review. And I'm not gonna go through any history lesson here. I want you to go learn about it yourself. Go <laughs> have your own awakening and learn about the people that are involved. Dr. Paul Mills, which I had kind of been led to believe that he didn't really work there, you know, and then the other, the, the other managing partners, I was kind of told one thing, but it turns out it's another because he's there every day along with a- uh, It's the opposite, Kevin, that uh, he's not there. He said, we can't get rid of it. We can't send him home. He's that he's such a, what do you call these guys? A propeller, propeller head. head. Yeah, but he's, he, he's the ultimate audiophile nerd that he's there 
All the time. You yeah. Know? And there's an actual factory with an address. That's the thing that I got to drive home. An actual factory with an address and an actual engineering team with names of people. And uh, I almost have, anyway, uh, I want to make sure that my customers always get um, products that will inspire them. And I'm just really kind of thrilled that, that I'm here. And look, enough of that stuff. Look, I got to I gotta talk about this speaker because it's unbelievable. This is a 15 inch, but the cabinet's deeper mm. and that that's, has something to do with how you get, I thought that had something to do with the base, but then I looked deeper and I'm gonna do a spoiler. They changed how they use the horn uh, yeah. in essence, right? Yeah. And they changed the crossover point. Yeah. That allows this to go deeper Yeah. and then so we, did, we, we discussed this over, didn't, didn't we? It's an easy one to remember for me because the crossover point 750, yeah. which is one of my motorbikes that I love. So I always remember seven. So that's, that's, that's an interesting and very, and very strong crossover point. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a big cabinet. And uh, as we say, you know, there's no replacement for displacement. We're moving a lot of air here but we're controlling it as well with the base tracks diffuser, which I'm sure we'll come on to. Yeah. But it's just, yeah, clearly I'm biased, but it is a bit of a work of art. When you're this close to it as I am, you know, the panel gaps and the attention to detail and, you know, mm. everything's made in Scotland. We, we don't cut wood in Scotland. The actual wood comes in, you know, from elsewhere, the mm. cabinets, but the, the drive units uh, are made. This actual drive unit could have been made by Dr. Paul. I'd say the crossover probably was because that's one of his real he loves making crossovers yeah. and his new cryo treatment in-house. He loves doing that. Yeah. Uh, all the metal work. I mean, this. have you seen the attention to detail of this? It's just so the metal work is all made with one of our local partners, li literally around the corner from us. And Glasgow. I think you told me a story about some of the other metal work, right? I yeah, mean so the base tracks diffuser, if you can't really see, mm -hmm. but there's a huge gold dome inside. And a lot, a, a lot of this detail, the, the metal work, the key metal work, not just on this model, but on uh, like the new F702, 703 SPs, mm -hmm. the, the, the F1 plinth, which is a, a very substantial, heavy plinth. Mm -hmm. All that's made locally in Scotland. We're not bringing it in from anywhere else. This uh, is one of the biggest deals to this speaker, <coughs> is uh, you are now allowing this bass driver to develop bass that is really it's controlled. tight yeah, and yeah, controlled yeah. For, yeah. Uh, in a 15 yeah. inch. Yeah. So the mid band has better meat on the bones. Incredible, uh, incredible yeah. mid band. Uh, but I got, why don't you tell us what's going on here? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a base tracks diffuser. It's our patented technology. And in simple terms, the base energy, which there's a lot of, we're moving a lot of air. It's a twin cavity uh, design cabinet. So the energy comes down. Imagine an exhaust pipe on your car you know, the, these things move a lot of air. So the air comes down the cabinet, it hits the top of the diffuser, which is like a, like a mountain or a peak. So it, we call that plane wave energy, it comes straight down, we're turning it into a 360 degree waveform. Imagine dropping a pebble into a still pool of water, the rings radiate out from that central point, and that's what the base tracks diffuser does. What does that actually mean to you though? Well, what it means is it reduces, almost eliminates, what we call boundary effects, mm. or even a, even a big guy like this, you can use it in ridiculously small rooms. I mean, we, we do shows and exhibitions all over the world, and people are like, that's never gonna work in that hotel bedroom. Mm -hmm. and they do, mm -hmm. they do, because we, we, we've, we're harnessing and controlling that, you know, the LF. I mean, these things, these things go down to 22 cycles. I mean, you know, you, 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 your trousers are flapping, you know, they go that low, and they've right. got r real grunt at that level as well. And that's why um, it has this <coughs> vent open in the front, but yeah. also all the way around. All the way around. It's yeah. a double, there's, yeah. an, there's a substructure here. Yeah, it's where, open. Where yeah. the, uh, the base track system is, right? Yeah, it's and open. So it, it will allow base to evacuate evenly. Yeah, evenly. And around the yeah. room, so you don't have this thing of like, oh my God, the base is really boomy, yeah. or the base doesn't yeah. exist. It's isotropic in the way that it dissipates in a 360 degree manner. Yeah. So, yep. but you know, you're looking, looking at the attention to detail again, Kevin, you know, the, the, mm -hmm. the, these are not lines painted on, these mm -hmm. are all inlays, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the, the trim ring with a vintage, you know, it, it's just, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I mean, but that's irrelevant. Close your eyes and listen to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. Yeah. They're just a bit special because they, they move a lot of air. And if you're listening to, you know, large orchestral pieces, for example, where you need that sense of scale, but you need control, wow. I mean, mm -hmm. just wow. So we were running this. It's 97 dB efficient. It's got a really <coughs> easy impedance curve. And so you can run it. We ran it with a 36 watt Prima Luna and it was just unbelievable. Mm. Loud. We ran it with the Western Electric 91 uh, integrated amp, 300B amp, and it was just fabulous. We ran it with the big, humongous T plus A uh, class A amplifier, the monster. We run it with pathos in pull. Uh, I mean, just a lot of different things. Mm. And the beauty of it is that it works with almost any amp that I think we could throw at it. And why is that? Well, it's not just the sensitivity. It's not just the impedance curve being easy. It's also because you did something that I love. And that is the control on the back and the control on the front. It's it's just that little bit of extra fine tuning, excuse the pun. <laughs> so <coughs> you can alter the treble energy at the back because these things are so accurate. You can just attenuate the HF by a few degrees up and down. Mm -hmm. But more importantly is the presence control on the front. So what does that do? Well, you know, the presence control just allows you to attenuate or just that vocal performance. You can bring the image a little bit forward or you can push it a little bit towards the rear. You know, it just, depending on your system, your environment, and even maybe how good a quality the source material is, the music, it just allows you to adjust very, you know, in a very small detailed way. Most of the time I find that I really don't need to adjust it. A lot of people are like turning the knob going, oh, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't work. It does, but it's very, It's very, very, very slight, but I would use it. And I'll tell yeah. you why, because I listen to vintage David Bowie, you know, and okay, look, let's talk about it. What happens when you try to play uh, vin vintage Led Zeppelin? Led Zepp II, David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust, right? Amazing records, recordings, eh, that can be kind of a, or even mm. this morning on the way to work, I was listening to Rage Against the Machine, born of a broken man, right? I mean, that's not exactly an easy love song. Mm. And it's tough. It's tough to listen to it and turn it up enough to get into the groove. And especially if you've got room problems. Pe yeah, some yeah. people have, you know, I think so. but very uh, I hard think services in their homes and th this can be helpful. I think it's also very in keeping with this sort of genre or style of loudspeaker where they just, you know, we need to allow for that small adjustment, you know, People, people play all sorts of different types of music. And, you know, we were talking about it the other day. I, I, I came across a fantastic old Queen recording of We Will Rock You, but the fast version, mm -hmm. alive. And it was like, God, the, the actual quality was, wasn't great. It was a bit compressed, but who cares? It was rocked. Right. It was brilliant. Right. So all day long, I was reaching for both the treble control, the HF control at the back, and the presence control, just to give it just that little bit more force. Uh, so it's, it, it's, a small, it's a small detail. We shouldn't get too hung up about yeah. it, but it's, it's contained within it. this, this burr walnut <laughs> panel. The rest, the whole cabinet's uh, you know, American walnut. It's a birch mm. ply laminate with a natural walnut finish, which is just exquisite. But this bit is burr walnut, which is yeah. As are the inlays. It's so pretty nice. Birch Ply is the gold standard for those <coughs> that don't know. Now, I know that your Vintage Classic series doesn't mm -hmm. use MDF, it uses HDF. HDF, so, HDF yeah, it's right? better. It's not, it's not in the same yeah. league as this, but frankly, it's half the price. You're getting, you know, the Vintage Classic models are arguably the best value for money because you get an 80% of the performance for half the price. You know, mm -hmm. they, they have a slightly lower spec. A drive unit with you know with a ferrite uh, uh, magnet. This is neodymium. This is like the best of the best. Mm. It, you know, which is you know it, it's it's very shallow and it's more powerful. The advantages of neodymium are, are very well known. Mm -hmm. uh, and this has full cryo as well, which is Dr. Paul's new love. Uh, and the vintage uh, 
classic range has what we call cryo light, so it's more the cabling, not all the components. Mm. And the drive unit is just a slightly lower spec, but that's that's doing it a real disservice because it's still an incredibly high-end audiophile product, mm -hmm. you know, that, that Dr. Paul wanted to develop to be better than anything he's ever done before in, in this style of product, yeah. and they really are. And you know they, they use all the all the technology, the bass tracks, diffuser system. Everything that we do is even in the vintage classic range. But these guys, the the full fat vintage, is like yeah. we're all in. These are a whole different level, you know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Well, and I want to say something. You know, you need to if your local dealer does not carry, you got to make sure you buy these from your local dealer, right? I'm doing all these videos because I love this brand. But it doesn't mean you got to buy it from us. I want you to get it from your local dealer. If they don't have fine audio, you know, say, hey, man, I, th this is the stuff, right? I mean, you don't have to get it here. I just want you to know about it and know that I think it's really, uh, really cool stuff. Real WBT, you've got uh, POS, you've got uh, the, the cabling is yep. Neotech, as yep. I recall, yep. right? Yep. Yeah, oxygen free. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, I talk about big companies and they start having bean counters and they start making things cheaper. And I talk about in electronics and I talk about all over the place, right? Big business, when it gets into high end audio, it ain't never a good thing. No, if we'd had bean counters, Kevin, we would never yeah. have, got, have got the new cryo facility, Dr. Paul. What really exactly. Wanted. Dr. It, Paul goes, you know, Oh, you know, I'm really uh, enjoying what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah. Go get Dr. Paul a cryo. Uh, a lab, you know, and I, I mean, I just love that. I yeah. love that yeah. you guys uh, are enthusiasts. Well, this is what he does all the time. No sooner have we got a specification agreed or a brochure printed, he, he tweaks something and he wants to do a bit better. You know, he comes up with, you know, he's just passionate about this stuff. Yeah. So, that's, and I got to talk to him thing. in this video call. I mean, just like that, you know, it was like, oh my God, these people are all real people with a real business address and a real factory, a real factory. Well, we always kind of had, but but things changed and yeah. most people yeah, know man. the story. I and got uh, it. I got that's it. That's good. Oh, I, and I forgot to mention, we did not talk about this fine flute thing because I find that really uh, interesting yeah. and the cone material, which doesn't look like anything I've ever seen. Well, a lot of people say, oh, it's a, you're using paper and it's kind of not paper. It's a multi-fiber mix you know it's like uh it's like a special mix that that i'm sure dr paul wouldn't share with anyone and it it, it varies but uh and it and and it's surrounded by this this attractive but it has a purpose this fine fluting it helps terminate a lot of the cone energy or the surface energy that 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 sort of dissipates out across the surface of the speaker and uh it, it, we used to use a different roll surround or suspension, but this has massively improved the performance. There's no restrictions to it, and kind of for free, it looks quite cool as well. So that's the fine flute that we use. And because uh, yeah. you used to initially on your first series of speakers, yep. you used a double roll cloth we did. surround. Yeah, we did. Use, which yeah. is what well, they, I don't know whether it was cloth or rubber, but it was the old. Well, there's some people use surround. that, and yeah. there's a problem. There can be a problem with that because of the mass that's involved. Yeah, it, right. Definitely. And what you wanted to do, yeah. especially with a driver this big, is you want to uh, have it start and stop as quick as you can. We wanted the suspension, just like on a race car, we wanted the suspension to work without restrictions, as, right. as suspension should. All right. And it does, you know, and so we're using, we can use lighter weight materials that respond a lot faster, but still give the control and it helps terminate that unwanted energy as well. So mm -hmm. it's a big step forward and we, we uh, ultimately changed very quickly. It was on the F1 models from that old, old school, old fashioned, you know, roll surround mm -hmm. to, to the fine flute. But, you know, we've always stayed true to the, uh, to the multi-fiber cone. Yeah. I almost called it paper myself then, but it's not, it's multi-fiber. Yeah. Because it's just the best. And believe me, we've tried, or mm. Dr. Ball's tried everything yeah. over the years. And it's just, for us, it's the most natural uh, sounding drive unit. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So, and they're all made in house in Scotland, so. Yeah. Well, I think we've covered about everything here. Look, go to your local store, uh, talk to our one of our non-commissioned salespeople. Like that's the gig, 
we're not on commission here, so we don't have, you know, my people, if you talk to them, they don't have to sell you this one or that one. They're gonna help you with what's gonna be appropriate for you and their wallet is not involved. Go to our website, you know, at Upscale Audio. We will treat your system like it's ours. And I wanna thank Max so much for coming out. My pleasure, thank All right. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.